Um, all right. Joe Rogan. We're skipping Joe Manchin and going straight to the other Joe. This will be the last Joe Rogan video we watch. Okay. The last one. But he is upset or has some takes about the outrage around the new Chappelle special on Netflix. I'm sure it's insightful. Let's take a look. www.twitch.tv slash Masanabi. It's going to be my last JRE segment for a while. The Joe Rogan experience. I'm just excited that he's not fucking talking about vaccines, okay? And he has, of course, this guy on. Uh, this is like some fucking weirdo. Whatever his name is. Michael, what is it? Michael Malice? Yeah. Have you talked to Chappelle about um, all the shit he got for yeah, that last special? Yeah, a little special? bit. We texted back and forth. It's, you know, he's just, you know, riding out the storm. Look, yeah. he's not a hom homophobic or of transphobic not, yeah. person. He makes fun of himself. There's a bit in that special about him getting molested and jerking off in a man's face. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is, a, or coming in a man's face. That, look, it's fun it's just making jokes that doesn't mean hate bro he literally called himself a turf like that's that's i i mean come on dude like really i i don't know what to say about that dude like look he made a blackface reference so i'll use similar terminology okay saying i'm i'm team turf to uh to a trans person while simultaneously being like, well, I'm not racist, though. It's like saying, I'm in the KKK, but uh, I'm not racist, okay? I'm team KKK, but I'm not racist against black people. Like, that's just... Turfs are, to trans people, what the KKK is to black people, okay? Maybe not to the same degree, because they're not, like, literally murdering them directly. But goddamn, like... You can't just, like, turn around and be like, I'm team turf, and then... Literally, just be like, I'm not transphobic, though. Like, come on. Wait, this is the problem with today. If you don't have an enemy, you make an enemy. And this is a real problem with people. We, we, we look for things. Like, if there's people that really hated you and they were the enemy, people that just joked around about stuff wouldn't be thought of as the enemy. It's like, and as the level of people truly hate you drops... You start looking for equilibrium and what you're upset about. And so now you're more upset. Sick of hearing this? Sick of the white trans community pretending to be victims? Yeah, dude. You know, white trans people, because no black trans people exist. And not only that, but also uh, pretending to be victims. Yeah. If there's one group of people unconditionally that uh, don't get shit on literally all the time, don't have their existence currently in 2021 uh, questioned regularly, uh, it's trans people. I mean, I'm always thinking to myself like, man, these trans people sure have it good. That's always, yeah. <clears throat> that about jokes. Now silence is violence. And now, you know, you can't just be this, you have to be that. And it becomes this like weird control level where what people start to conflate. You, you start when you start equating jokes with like real feelings, well, you they're 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 not the same thing. Well, I they're, don't think that's what it is. I well, think they're trying to put different individuals or groups on a pedestal and kind yes. of make them sa sacred. And when you have someone comes along and knocks them off that pedestal, all of a sudden you're trying to undo what I'm trying to do, which is to make this person holy. And now you are my enemy because your agenda is the opposite of mine. Fully agree. I was getting to oh, sorry. that. Okay. No, no, it's okay. no, it's okay. You're right though, 100. percent But it's these these ideas that that you can't make fun of are dangerous. They're not good for anybody. They're not good for the people to hold those ideas, whether it's about who you are or what you do. The idea that no fun can be had about any of this is crazy. Yeah, that's, it is crazy. You want to know why? Because that's not what people are saying. Like the most vocal trans critics of the special, or even 
people like myself have been like, dog, you can of course make fun of trans people and trans existence. The difference is being like, I'm a fucking turf. Like I literally identify as someone who excludes trans people from the conversation of feminism and, and, and like, and then continues to just be like, lol, trans people are fucking weird, right? Like, that's crazy. It's a dude with a penis wearing a dress, lol. Like, that's not, that's what people are fucking, <laughs> that's what people are criticizing about. What is it? You're not allowed to be, uh, you're not, not being allowed to dehumanize someone is literally Nazism. Yeah. Because the idea is that then all fun is done maliciously and out of hate. And we know as friends, that is just not true. Well, like, all my fun is malicious. It's, well, it's also funny. <laughs> like, also if, you, funny. if you and I were fucking with each other. Dave Chappelle, you, why, I wonder why Joe Rogan might feel necessary to launder Dave Chappelle's reputation. Dude, they, of course they're together. They're also friends. And they're also both old fucking boomers who don't understand what uh, trans people are like. I'm sorry. They are just fucking transphobic. They're like old person transphobic. And um, there was at some point an opportunity to like salvage that and, and make them not that way. But because they're so far up their own fucking assholes as like incredibly successful people that I feel like that's impossible to repair at this point because the only conversation they are willing to have about trans people is how much people yell at them non-fucking stop because they cover things that they don't fucking understand and they do it in a way that is harmful. That's it. There, there are, they are no different than fucking Bill Maher, okay? It is just the, the truth. And that, unfortunately, does not make for good comedy. If you don't understand the subject matter that you're covering and you're looking at it from the outside, pointing to it and being like, lol, that's fucking strange, that's not good comedy. You're doing Steven Crowder shit, okay? And that sucks. And I say this as someone who has watched all the Joe Rogan specials, someone who's seen him fucking actually perform and like test out his materials. I like Joe Rogan's, uh, I liked Joe Rogan's commentaries. I'm a huge fan, you know, um, an even bigger fan of Dave Chappelle as well. Uh, the biggest thing I'm a fan of obviously still is the top of the hour ad break. You know what I mean? Um, what, where did that come from? Uh, that's crazy. I just had to fucking hammer that in there. Kind of like how Joe Rogan has to hammer in fucking transphobia to like every conversation he can have that like is even around that. Dave didn't do that. Did you watch Chappelle? Yes, dude, I did. I did. I did. I don't know why you think I didn't. Of course I did. No, I'm just fucking crying about the Dave Chappelle special without even watching it. Like, what are you fucking stupid? Of course I watched it, you idiot. Makes me so fucking, makes me... So annoyed that people are just like, I'm a gigantic fan of Dave Chappelle, okay? I'm a bigger fan of Dave Chappelle than you. Of course, I watch all the fucking shit he puts out. All of it. In the realm of stand-up comedy. Not all of his movies, but... And the thing is, like, I'm still a fucking fan of Dave Chappelle. I'm just not a fan of his, like... What he has become. This, like, boomer who just is like, man, trans people are fucking weird. Huh. <clears throat> Anyway, um, as I was saying, uh, it's top of the hour. Now, you know, you can't avoid the transphobia on the Joe Rogan show, but you can avoid the top of the hour ad breaks on the Hassan Abi show. How can you do that? If you want an ad-free broadcasting experience, you can subscribe. You can do that for $5, or you can subscribe for free if you have a Twitch Prime. That's right. By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime subscription a month. Uh, there's also other methods, uh, you know, you can look them up on your own. Here's the moment ad break now. <coughs> and let's continue. And we're saying ridiculous shit right. to each other. We would both be smiling yes, 100%. while we did it. This is what Roast Battle's all about. Right. My friend Brian Moses. This is what a lot of what Kill Tony's about. Like, it's fun. There's fun in making fun of each other. And we have to accept that. Yeah. And then I need to know your real feeling. Is Rick James' impressions were spot on, to be fair? And he, I mean, look, if we're, if we're taking an honest approach to Dave Chappelle's like entire body of work, I think Tyrone Biggums is like literally in the fucking bottom of the barrel and uh, Clayton Bigsby is at the fucking top. Like, so even then, even then Dave Chappelle, like even back in the day when he was doing like fucking, if we're going to be super honest about it, 
even back during the Chappelle show when he was putting out absolute fucking fire, there was still shit that was just like really, uh, I don't know, cartoonish and not great, right? Recall who uh, the white delegation took for the 04 racial draft? Don't people agree to roast battles, law, and those aren't towards targeted marginalized users of people? It's between friends? Yeah, I fucking love roast battles. I used to watch... I used to go to the comedy store and watch the roast battles every Tuesday night. Like... I don't even know if they still have them, but... Oh, is Colin Powell? Uh, Jeff Ross is the man. Well, Roast Battle is OG, is not Jeff Ross, is actually Brian Moses. That's how much I fucking know about the Roast Battle. I mean, Jeff Ross is like obviously significant. Cause he's like the roast master and all that stuff. But like Brian Moses was the real fucking dude who, in my opinion, led the, the roast battle stuff. Didn't it start at the comedy store? Yes. Yeah. I, I literally, I've seen kill Tony live. I used to literally go watch kill Tony live. I used to go watch roast battle live. When I first came to Los Angeles, like it was one of the, few kinds of entertainment that I could just like go and appreciate um and 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 watch yeah horrible taste I mean I don't anymore like I just um and I don't know if they're still going on but Paul F. Timkins is the right take comedy is the art form that ages the most poorly it's not even true it's not even true feelings about gay people your real feelings about trans people your real feelings about all religions and all races and all ethnicities but we got to be able to joke around about each other and if you get down to dave chappelle's real feelings he's a lovely person he's one of the nicest people i've ever met in my life he loves everybody he he's not a hateful soul he's beyond jealous he's just a guy who loves this art form called stand-up comedy and he tries to do his best navigating through this world of talk except trans people except for the one trans friend he has that's the funniest part about this is that like so many people even in my community who just like fucking love dave Chappelle, which is understandable we grew up with him you know what i mean i myself am in that same category we're like well he has a trans friend dude come on Oh, okay. Talking shit about things and saying outrageous things that get friend. huge laughs or placating really sensitive groups that feel like they're in a protected class. And then the other people that pile on to that that also feel like this is a protected class. And they equate any jokes with hate. And this is where they're wrong. Like, I'm telling you that Dave Chappelle does not hate anyone or anything. But he's not that person. He's his. Except for white dudes. <laughs> Except for white people. <laughs> Again, um, first of all, trans people are literally a protected class for obvious reasons. Um, it takes time. These things take time. <sighs> Currently, trans people are not broadly accepted as like normal uh you know uh contributing figures in society is just the truth like you have to be in incredibly fucking woke circles uh to to encounter a, a majority of people that are like you know okay yeah no trans people are totally chill totally fine that's just the reality a lot of trans people here uh in this community realize that recognize that and live with that reality every day that sucks okay it sucks that you are constantly fucking thinking in the back of your mind that like this next person that I'm going to interact with on any given day could be the type of person who's like, yeah, you're fucking weird. You're, uh, uh, you know, mentally ill and you should die. Like anything ranging from that all the way to you should die. Okay. 
that's fucking sucks. You can't comprehend that. Well, some people can. I think black people can. Okay. So it's additionally weird when you come from uh, a community that has been marginalized historically uh, to, to then turn around and be like, you guys are actually, you know, becoming trans for the fuck of it. So you can just act like, you know, you have marginalization, like you're stealing my marginalization credits or some shit. So weird. And that's where that fucking energy comes from. There's always like a suspicion, like are trans people faking it? Are they doing it for attention? And that suspicion historically has existed towards gay people as well. It's nothing new, okay? Oh, you're just doing it for attention. Oh, you're just doing it because you want to be a special little snowflake. Oh, you're just doing it because... Not because you're, like, honestly that person, honestly trans or honestly gay, okay? And uh, there's nothing you change about that. It's just the way it is. But you're doing it, you know, to win athletic competitions. And that's a fucking ridiculous take because it's like... Are you going to fucking subject yourself to the endless amount of dehumanization just for the fucking, you know, memes? Is that, is that what you're going to do just to get like what? Celebrated and cherished by who? No one celebrates or cherishes trans people on the virtue of being trans. It's just the reality. We don't. We are living in a deeply transphobic society still. And it's an understandably deeply transphobic society. I'm sorry. And uh, I've talked about this regularly. That comes from how much gender identity is like so rigid and so binary and such an important part of the way we see ourselves and the way that society has been organized. That's precisely why trans people themselves are often transphobic before they come to the realization that they themselves are trans. Okay? And that's why the normative position for most is trans people are weird and different and I don't get it and I don't understand it. Except Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, that's a fucking media op, dude. Who gives a fuck? That's Caitlyn Jenner. She's an awful human being. She fucking sucks. Most trans people hate Caitlyn Jenner, by the way. That's another hilarious uh, part of this subject. Dave Chappelle, on the other hand, does not. So that's a, yet another fucking whack take from uh, the, the intellectual titan there. Anyway. Yep, she did kill someone. We literally risk all our friendships and family connections by coming out and people still have the gall to think we're doing it so lightly. Yeah. It's nuts. So I say the same thing that I always say to other motherfuckers, right? Like, uh, Back when, you know, homophobia was more acceptable, one thing that I used to say people, I would say to people was like, all right, suck a dick then. Suck a dick. If you're gay for attention, suck a cock right now. Do it. Suck a fat, juicy cock immediately. If you're trans for attention, if you're going to be trans for attention, undertake HRT, okay? Just go and get gender confirmation surgery. Do it, pussy. Let's see. Let's see how that works out. Just, just for attention. Just drastically change your hormones. For attention, of course. For a meme. Like, it's not that easy. People are undergoing drastic fucking changes. That's how, that's how ride or die they are. That's how fucking serious this is. And there's still motherfuckers who are like, yeah, man, I don't know. There's something weird about it. They, they must be doing it to win athletic endeavors. It's like, okay, dude. Yeah. Sure. jokes are just that they're just jokes and if you really pay attention to what he's saying whether you agree with him or not in some of his jokes like whether or not they're funny just really pay attention to the overall message it is in no way transphobic it's just not but this is a way for low status people to try to compete with Dave and try to get on his level because if I'm some kind of rando journalist and I take down Dave Chappelle or Joe Rogan or somebody else this elevates my status in my rank and takes him down a peg and that's, that's literally not true that's not true the overwhelming majority of the internet loves ride or die uh like having ride or die takes for fucking reactionary points of view when it comes to trans people you can go you can't go on a fucking tv show 
and debate whether or not black people are fucking human. Okay, you can't do that anymore. Thank God. And it, and you could for a very long time. You can't do that for gay people. You still can do that for trans people. That doesn't mean that like trans people are equally marginalized as, as uh, black people are or that like there's the historic precedent that's the exact same or anything like that. I'm not saying that, okay? I'm not playing oppression Olympics. But currently, as it stands, you can literally just have a normal conversation and be like, trans people are fucking mentally ill. Say that and just have a back and forth, okay? You can't do that for many other marginalized communities. As a matter of fact, the reason why these people are fucking mad, super mad, is because people are saying that you shouldn't be able to have those conversations. It's like an insane conversation to have. And it only plays a role in perpetuating transphobia in a society that has deeply ingrained, institutionalized, and very rigid and very binary gender structures that continue to re reinforce that transphobia. And I'm not even saying like, you know, uh, fucking let your child uh, pick their gender or anything like that. I'm not like one of those people. I'm just, I'm not. Okay. So you are policing speech. Uh, I get you now. Dude. Have you actually watched comedy or are you just doing, oh God, it's like literally every single fucking idiot like has the exact same thing. <laughs> I bet you didn't watch it, dude. No, I did watch it. I fucking did. Now, oh, so you are policing speech. Okay, dude. Then, uh, you know, go to a media outlet, okay? And talk about how you don't think black people are human beings then. Like, and then when people are like, you're a fucking racist, get the fuck out of here. You can turn around and be like, why are you policing my speech? You can't do that. I'm a journalist, and now I take down Dave Chappelle or Joe Rogan or somebody else. This elevates my status in my rank and takes him down a peg, and that's useful you're for right. me from an evolutionary point of view. You're, you're absolutely right. You can't, can't be denied. If you're a person and you're looking up at a guy like Dave Chappelle, he's at the highest of high levels. Right. You have to, you know, you, you have to also equate, you have to equate that in anything you, you think about when you think about a guy like Dave Chappelle. But then you also have to realize that the problem is in listening to everybody, you're going to get a certain group. Maybe people are just being kind by asking if you watched it because they don't understand how you missed the mark on what Dave was actually trying to get across. Dude. Okay, you have the podium, dipshit. Go ahead. Explain to me what Dave Chappelle was trying to get across. Okay? What? That he has a trans friend and that we have to stop seeing uh, transness? Okay? Like, we have to stop seeing race? How is that any fucking different, you idiot? It's literally... It is just reactionary towards trans people. And it is nothing but a self-report on your behalf. Dave Chappelle did a, a number of different things in that comedy special that people cannot comprehend because, once again, like I said, transphobia is the normative position, okay? So that's precisely why most people are like, I don't get it. I fucking agree with what he's saying. Like, it's whatever, okay? So, I am going to go through this one more time very easily, very quickly, okay? One, he did the classic, I have a trans friend or had a trans friend defense. And I loved that trans friend defense. Okay. People do that all the fucking time when they're out of pocket when talking about black issues, for example. Two, he did the classic like, um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Fuck. Not the, I had a trans friend. There was another thing that he did that was like super fucking super classic. Oh, that... Trans people are actually punching down or faking it or somehow not genuinely trans, but actually just like faking it for attention, okay? Like the, the idea, the inception of the idea that like there is something not 
like real about being trans and instead like these people are basically becoming trans so they can fucking have their own kind of oppression okay like uh as though white people are becoming trans exclusively so they can get one off on black people he ended the special by literally talking about stop punching down on my people he was talking about comedians he was talking about uh you know uh new defranco video about you wait really also this is a particularly western issue historically transgender people worship in some pagan cultures yes Imagine if you had a big salad and there was a little piece of poop on top and you said, gross, I don't want that. And the waiter says, oh, you didn't even look at the whole salad. There's so much without poop on it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Real talk, when trans rights exist in Iran, all you got to do is claim oppression as a white person is become a Republican grifter. Oh, God. So what is the title? What this Hassan Parker sex controversy really reveals? Jesus Christ, dude. That's not good. What a, what a title, bro. Few minutes of this video already. Yeah, moving on to other news, we should definitely talk about left-wing political commentator and Twitch streamer Hassan Piker in the news. And I'm actually really interested to know your thoughts on this one. So on Thursday, Piker tweeted out a video of one of his fans getting a lap dance at a strip club while wearing his merch, captioning it real Sigma behavior, saying that the video was sent to him by a friend who he later said works at the club and gave him permission to share it. According to Vice, that friend was a dancer by the name of Shay, who we also saw sharing photos from that night under Piker's post, writing Hassan stands tip good. While that original video ended up generating some backlash from those who argued that Piker was supporting exploitation, it also eventually led to people sharing this clip of Piker from one of his old streams. Have you ever had an escort? No shame, obviously sex work is real work. I've, I've had sex with not even escorts, but also like straight I, i've gone to a brothel artemis in berlin and had sex with uh the workers there yes i don't hide it i don't give a sh why would i with bias reporting that those comments were made months ago about piker's visit back in 2010 but in the here and now it set off more intense debates about whether all sex work stripping and brothels are inherently exploited in their arguments that it is many pointed out that berlin authorities raided artemis back in 2016 as part of a human trafficking investigation but you have the vice piece claiming that doesn't necessarily mean that there was any actual human trafficking happening just because cops say they conducted a human trafficking scene doesn't necessarily mean there was any human trafficking happening. Yeah, they also plead. I hope he mentions that, like, none of those people went to jail. Like, even if there were other wrong things. Which, by the way, was in 2016. I was there in 2010, but, you know. In place. Noting in this particular sting, the six people detained were accused of tax fraud and withholding Social Security contributions because of how they were classifying their workers. With the vice piece then going on to suggest that by treating all sex work as exploitative, we actually make conditions even less safe for marginalized workers, which then pressures platforms, payment processors, and lawmakers to push sex workers further into the margins, further into the unsafe dark. Regarding this, we even saw Shay, the dancer we mentioned earlier, telling Vice, I don't think sex work slash stripping is inherently exploitive. And going on to add, I go to work, get paid to entertain people, talk with them and have drinks with them, and I go home. People just have this preconceived notion of what a strip club is like and what strippers are like, and it seems we're either victims or dirty whores undeserving of love. I wish people on both sides would see we're just normal people going to work like everybody else. You know, kind of on that same note, we saw Piker say, all work under capitalism is done under coercive and exploitative conditions. And adding, I believe in improving material conditions, helping workers gain autonomy and take more of their surplus labor value back. Consensual sex work in a safe environment can and has achieved that for many sex workers I am friends with. However, anti-sex work takes, especially those that conflate all sex work with sex trafficking, create an unsafe space for those who would like to do sex work. And so with all of that said, I now want to pass the question off to you. Where do you stand on this? Whether it be about the whole rainbow of sex work, right? Is every bit of sex work exploitative? And or secondarily, do you think brothels, prostitution, that should be legalized? Regardless of if you would actually use it or not. What are your thoughts here? What are your arguments here? I, I would love to know your thinking. But from that, I want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's show. Super curious with the brothel women, better with sex than casual hookups? I don't know. I just want to think it's interesting. I don't really know. But another special spell, should he sees the, the struggle they have and he doesn't question their choices saying by cutting their dicks off is enough proof to him, which is still funny and true, I think. Um... Vice video on Facebook moderation. I don't care about that. I don't want to watch that. Um, prostitution being legalized widely increases the risk of sex trafficking. That's one. Uh, that is one take that I hear regularly. I think that's part of the reason why sex workers in the United States of America do not want legalization, but decriminalization rather. Why does the clickbait make you sound like you assault someone? Yeah, I know. That's not great. 
Not a great, not a great clickbait there, dude. Um. I will pass this question on to you and I'll not state my own. Wait. Dude, sorry to disagree, but I feel like you missed the point. Dave Chappelle criticized white trans woman and the whites in general. Also, he didn't say I have a trans man. He says he blames the trans community for killing his friend. Yeah, that's so much worse. You don't understand that, dude. Like, dude, that that is... So, the beautiful story that is supposed to be about how fucking uh, uh, Dave Chappelle had a, a trans friend who ended up committing suicide, Okay which he then like jokingly misgendered in the end, okay? You have to comprehend that like trans people have an incredibly high rate of suicide, which is instantly lowered, at least according to empirical evidence that we have so far, when there is broad acceptance from their communities and their friends and family, okay? So assuming that like, the trans allies that this trans person had were the reason why uh, she committed suicide and like turning, shifting the blame over. Like that's, that's incredibly transphobic. No motherfucker. It's literally people not recognizing her humanity and not recognizing that she's like, maybe even it's people not doing what Dave Chappelle did to her. Okay which was recognize her humanity because that was the main point that Dave Chappelle was making, right? That like, ultimately, ultimately, trans, cis, doesn't fucking matter. We're all going through some shit and I respect that. That's what he was saying about the Daphne thing, right? Because unlike all of my fucking haters in the chat, I did actually watch the comedy special and I did understand what he was trying to say. Okay? The idea that like she, the idea that she uh, uh, was driven to suicide, not because of like broad transphobia, which is the reason for like the overwhelming majority of trans suicides. And instead, because like trans people were bullying her. That's fucking awful. Okay. That is awful. By the way, I want to hear what diminished reality had to say. And he just fucking ran away, cowering like a little bitch baby, dude. Pissing, shitting, and farting in his fucking diapies. What do I say to Chappelle? Stan's freaking, he got canceled? You tell them, no, Dave Chappelle didn't get canceled. Or maybe you should get canceled for $20 million. Uh, you know who did get canceled? The people that fucking spoke out against the Dave Chappelle special. Okay? They literally lost their fucking jobs. Those people got canceled. Nobody's talking about those people. I wonder why. Because once again, like I've said time and time again, when you're a mega celebrity, you don't get canceled. Okay. That's not a real thing. It's only a real thing. If you work at a fucking company. Anyway. Refresh, you had more to say? I mean, I asked him like an hour ago. I didn't run lol. Okay, so you just like weren't brave enough to fucking establish uh, what you took, what your takeaway was from the special? Is that what happened? Go ahead. Yeah, you watched it and you should have lied and said that they transitioned for attention. 
Where in the special did he say that? No shot, dude. Oh my God. The defense of fucking Dave Chappelle is literally like, oh, did this person actually say they were racist? Fuck you. Dog. He said, we used to be able to make fun of white people. And then one day they came back and I'm not, I'm paraphrasing here and it's not going to be as funny as like, obviously, uh, you know, Dave Chappelle and the way he intended this to be. But one day white people came back and were like, no bitch, I'm trans. Now you're making fun of me. He literally said that. He said that. That is precisely the, the, the presupposition or the hidden premise in, a, in rhetoric like that means that you think that there is like an other underlying reason for why trans people are trans. Okay? That's what that is. If you can't comprehend that, maybe your, you know, fandom is getting in the way of you accurately understanding what that take is. It's weird that Chappelle's point is that trans individuals want to slap this label on themselves to get back at white people uh, when one of the most recognized trans activists, Marsha P. Johnson, is black and is the pioneer that contributed to the gay liberation movement. Marsha P. Johnson is also the first person that threw the brick, right? Wasn't Marsha P. Johnson the person that threw the brick at, uh, at the, the, uh, the riot? At Stonewall, yeah. Or at least that's the common meme. I don't know if it's confirmed or not, but. I'm too big a fan to turn back now, though. I hope he moves on from the trans topic. He's in a good order with it. At least you're honest. You're like, dude, I can't. <laughs> I, I grew up with this dude. I love him. I can't. I can't turn around now. Just please shut the fuck up about trans folk. I agree. I feel the same way. You are significantly diminishing the harm by just shutting the fuck up about trans people if you can't like understand it but dave Chappelle's not that guy he's like no this kind of controversy actually brings additional eyeballs and brings additional attention to my fucking you know uh to my to my comedy specials i agree with you though it's like please shut the fuck up please stop stop please never talk about trans people ever again please oh my god Fine. His point about his trans friend was not, I'm friends with a trans person, therefore I must love all trans. His point was that while he and others might not understand them completely, we should be empathetic towards the fact that they're going through something. I know, I mentioned that already. He made it pretty clear when he quoted her about it. And him bringing up the trans community on Twitter turning on her, a place he said was not real, is not him bashing on them or accusing them of being responsible. He literally said, the LGBT community, like, you killed her. Also, he said, I'm Team Turf. I just, I, I know we keep forgetting that, but. I don't know if you watched the stand-up special or how you. If there's a high rate of suicide in a certain community, why are you encouraging people to be a part of it? Does this make sense? Dude, how does your fucking brain work, man? How does your brain work? I'm encouraging people to take a part of it, uh, taking part of being trans. You think I have the capability of making someone trans? Are you fucking stupid? How do you not recognize that this is like, li quite literally, this is what I'm talking about. When I say transphobia is so pervasive. I'm not going to ban you because you have an opportunity to understand, okay? But what you are doing is just straight transphobic. You're, you think that, like, trans people are getting encouraged to become a part of it, and then they fucking commit suicide because now they, like, became trans for the memes or something, or because they fucking listened to someone like myself, and that's why they're trans now. That's insane, dude. And also... They're not suicidal because they're trans. They're suicidal because people think the way you do about trans people.
You're so fucking liberal with your ban hammer on every topic except trans issues? Yes. I've also changed probably a metric ton fuck of people's minds on this issue. So I know. Because I myself had transphobic, transphobic thoughts, okay? Like when I was younger. I've talked about this before. So shut the fuck up. I know what I'm doing. Shut your stupid mouth, okay? That's my take on this issue. I know what I'm doing. It's fucking working. Shut the fuck up. And I always am honest too. Like, look, if you're if you're a trans person and I'm gonna discuss trans issues, like this is not gonna be a great uh, uh this is not gonna be a great conversation, you know. Uh you might wanna not be here for it. I totally get it. Also, that chatter is also stupid because yes, statistically the most common banned reason in my chat is literally transphobia. So that's besides the point. But that's mostly because I do talk about trans issues a lot. Suicide Dally drops by 94% if one parent is accepting and supportive. I have no clue how people can say stuff like this, dude. We have several transgender military commanders. How can trans people be oppressed? Grooming doesn't exist. You can groom someone into being trans. What? We have several trans military commanders. I'm not going to ban this guy because I want to understand what is going on in that fucking sloshing goo that is supposed to be a brain. I need to know more about it. I mean, when he gets like straight transphobic, we'll ban him. Anyway, I hope you understand that though. No, I have trans friends, but I don't encourage them to do things that I have heard stories about. What? Are you Dave Chappelle? Is Dave Chappelle in the fucking chat, dude? What is going on right now? Motherfuckers just said, I have trans friends. I don't encourage them to do things I have heard stories about. Like what? Just say it, motherfucker. What? Grooming is pedophilia. Which, by the way is, again, rehashing the exact same fucking dumbass take like uh, the way that like uh, people used to say gay people are groomers and gay people are pedophiles. It's just the same. It's always the fucking same. It's like... There, these are repackaged fucking uh, arguments. Homophobic arguments. Okay, I'm just going to ban him. He's, the guy, he's got no more funny. Anyway, all right, let's keep going. Let's finish this fucking dumbass video. Group of people that want people to n not be able to work anymore. They want to, like, stop you. They want to pull things down. They want to change, like, what... I have a trans friend who wants bottom surgery. I've heard the suicide goes up when you do that. I end up thinking it was the wrong choice, so I discourage him from something so permanent. I don't know what you're talking... Wait, encourage him? You mean like bottom surgery for a trans male? Or did you just like actually fucking, did you just unironically misgender your friend? Male to female, yes. Or you're a shitty friend, dog. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like... Motherfuckers be like, I don't know why trans people commit suicide at such high rates. Literally while being like, I have a trans friend. And also, uh, I'm going to misgender my trans friend. And also, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, you know, tell him not to get bottom surgery. No, the reason why I said that is because bottom surgery for 
female to male is different than bottom surgery for male to female. And if I'm not mistaken, bottom surgery for, uh, uh, I would suspect that bottom surgery for, uh, uh, female to male is probably a little bit easier too. I offer him all the love and support. I've known him as male for years. How can I just change that in one day? I mean, you're, uh, you've known a person for years and years and years, and they come to you in a moment of honesty and they trust you and they want you to be accepting and you still can't accept it. You are already admitting you, the, every single conversation point that you're making is the reason why trans people commit suicide. And it is also literally just you becoming progressively more uh, transphobic. I'm just letting you know. The tech isn't as advanced for female to male bottom surgeries. It is for male to female. Well, it's fucking harder, dude. I mean, that's like a lot harder. Female to male surgery is very hard to do, actually. Wait, really? Male to female bottom surgery has like a less than 1% regret rate nowadays. The surgery's gotten a lot better. I worked for years to get stop surgery, and I got like three different people telling me it's a phase and almost committed suicide. You're a horrible friend. Yeah, look, man, listen, listen. People are going to get fucking understandably mad at you. But if you actually want to fucking love and support your friend, you should probably start off by no longer misgendering them, okay? It's literally the easiest thing you can do. You are being so pathetically selfish. I'm I'm be honest with you. It is the most pathetically selfish fucking thing that you can do is when a friend of yours comes out to you as trans and you literally keep misgendering them and go, oh, how can I not? Just try, dude. Just fucking, it starts with literally seeing your friend as a human and just trying. Like, get over your own goddamn fucking ego, dumbass. This is precisely why trans people are, have such fucking high rates of uh, suicidality, by the way. Because even their fucking closest friends that they're like trying to open up to are just still like, yeah, nah, I'm not going to do that. Just practice, dude. Just try it. Okay? See how it is. It's literally the easiest thing you can do. It is like the least impactful, easiest fucking thing you can do. I accept it, but I don't want him to do... You're still misgendering this person, dude. Okay, I mean, I mean, seriously, fuck yourself. Like, uh, I'm done. Okay, we're not having that part. We're not having this conversation anymore. If I deliberate for months before I take a loan out of my car, is it rash for me to discourage him? Dude, you're still literally fucking saying him. You can't even be like, discourage her from getting bottom surgery. Now it's not about fucking someone getting bottom surgery, even though that's how the conversation started, right? No, you don't accept it. Why are you saying I accept it if you don't fucking accept it, you fucking pussy? You are a fucking pussy. You're a pathetic, sniveling little coward. Okay? You're such a fucking pussy that you can't even fucking come into this community that you've been a part of for such a long fucking time. You're a bad person, dude. Okay? You're a fucking bad person. I try to be as nice as possible. I try to be as understanding as possible. But you're just a fucking horrible scumbag. Okay? If you can't even fucking practice it here, when it's literally zero dollars and zero fucking cents for you to just say she instead of he, okay? For you to fucking try and you can't even do that, well, you're a fucking scumbag. You're a transphobic scumbag, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. Disgusting. You are literally not an empathetic human. You are a disgusting, selfish prick. Holy shit. And the motherfuckers are like, why do trans people look for safe spaces? I wonder why, dude. Look at this. This is like this is like your friend. Imagine growing up with a fucking person. Finally having the fucking courage to be able to come out about something that is like 
that's just you the real you okay and that and that dude is like nah dog sorry not gonna happen i will not even do the fucking bare minimum dude fuck you get fucked not gonna do that and then actively try to fucking debate you like that's so fucking nasty dude you're a piece of shit fuck you that's available you don't have to like it like here's the thing about a dave chappelle look he's clearly the most popular comedian on planet earth right he's number one he, he's clearly one of the greatest comedians that's ever lived clearly i agree which is why it's kind of weird that he was doing steven crowder bits about trans people so obviously kind a of lot of point. fucking people like him and what you want is people did not have access to him right when you have options you don't have to like it but if you want netflix to take it down and you say it's hateful this is this is an incorrect way to do this. If you want to make your own special about what was wrong with Dave Chappelle's or special, or on YouTube with your monologue, like Keith. Oh my God, dude! Yeah, dude, that's that's just the dude. Come on, more speech, bro. More speech. Like, uh, okay, here's the thing. Yeah, dude, the answer is not fucking limiting free speech. Just do more speech. First of all. You literally made an entire video crying about the more speech, okay? I'm doing more speech about the free speech of Dave Chappelle, right? I'm literally fucking doing that right now. And even then, motherfuckers are like, no shot. No, dude, fuck you. Uh, fucking, how dare you say that, okay? So no, dudes that love to claim, oh, it's just Dave Chappelle's free speech, are not actually in favor of free speech. They just want you to shut the fuck up and not criticize Dave Chappelle so they don't have to fucking question their uh, worldview about trans people 